Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am back at Ashley Home Furniture, the Montego Bay branch this time. And I am going to be selecting some pieces here today for a model unit at a brand new development that is coming up in Trelawney. The name of that development is the Hummingbird Estates. So I'm just going to be going around and choosing a few decorative pieces. The main pieces have already been selected, the furniture that is. And yeah, you're gonna come along with me for this experience. So as an interior stylist, selecting pieces from the Ashley Home Furniture Store to stage a model unit can be both exciting as well as challenging. It does require a keen eye for design and an understanding of the target market. When going into a project such as this, the first thing that I'd like to do as an interior stylist is to have a complete understanding of what the vision for the model unit will be. What's the target market? What's the aesthetic of the development? What are the main selling points of the unit? These are all questions that I need to find the answers to before I even start selecting furniture and decorative pieces. It's really important to keep the target market in mind when selecting furniture and decorative pieces as this will help me choose items that will appeal to potential buyers. Choosing the right furniture to stage a model unit for sale is important for several reasons. First and foremost, the furniture sets the tone of the entire space and can greatly impact a potential buyer's perception of the unit. If the furniture is outdated, worn, or doesn't match the overall aesthetic of the development, it can turn off potential buyers and make it more difficult to sell the units. On the other hand, if the furniture is modern, stylish, and fits within the overall vision for the development, it can help to create a positive first impression and make the unit more appealing to potential buyers. The right furniture can make the space feel larger, more open, and more welcoming, which can all help to increase the chances of a sale. In addition to impacting the perception of the unit, the right furniture can also help to showcase the potential of the space. If the furniture is arranged in a way that highlights the unique features of the unit, such as a stunning view or an open floor plan, it can help potential buyers to envision themselves living in the space and increase their emotional connection to the unit. Choosing the right furniture is also important from a practical standpoint. The furniture needs to be appropriately sized for the space and should be arranged in a way that allows potential buyers to easily navigate the space. It should also be comfortable and functional, as this can help potential buyers to see themselves living in the space and can increase the overall appeal of the units. Now I had a pretty great blank canvas to work with, the walls were all white and there was nothing too crazy happening in the model unit so it was pretty easy to choose different pieces to really tie everything together of course i considered a color scheme and the lighting in the unit choosing furniture pieces that would complement the color scheme and enhance the natural light throughout the space which would have created a warm and inviting atmosphere that would appeal to any potential buyers. So this pretty much means paying attention to the color, the texture, and scale. As an interior stylist, I would have needed to choose pieces that complement each other rather than clash or compete for attention. So once I selected the furniture pieces and gave thought to the overall design of the space, it then meant considering accessories, such as pillows, rugs, and artwork that can add interest and texture to the space. I wanted to choose accessories that would complement the furniture pieces rather than overwhelm them. Now, speaking on customer service, I have to say working with Ashley Home Furniture Store team members, this was quite an enjoyable experience. Everyone was very attentive and very helpful with this entire process. And speaking about the process, it was pretty straightforward. I simply came into the Ashley Home store, met with the manager, and we had a discussion about the client's needs. And from there, we just got right down to it. We started walking the showroom floor and selecting pieces that were available to be used in the model unit because some pieces on the floor had already been purchased and you guys probably would have noticed the lovely gentleman who would have been following me around the store it was for good reason 
he was actually assisting me with taking notes on which items I would have required to be used in the staging of the model unit. So here's a quick rundown of the entire process. Essentially, I would come into store, meet with the manager, we have a discussion about the client's needs, and I should note that there are some behind the scenes parts of this where the client also meets with the manager and they run through contracts and make payments to the company but um, essentially my role in this I come in I meet the manager we have a brief discussion and I get right down to it where I select the pieces in the store that I can use in the model unit now having selected all the pieces that will be used in the staging of the model unit, the manager as I said before will process everything to be sent out for delivery and installation and you'll actually see that entire process of the setup of the model unit in my upcoming video that should be out next week. So that is a wrap on part one or phase one on my job as an interior stylist, which definitely involves careful planning, attention to detail, and having a creative eye to bring together the perfect pieces to create a cohesive and appealing space by selecting furniture and decor and arranging them in a way that showcases the potential of the unit, which can help to boost sales and attract potential buyers. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section and as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.